Well, hey everybody, I thought I would uh, actually add a fourth, and this is really gonna be the final video on the uh, Yardistry uh, 12 by 14 gazebo from Costco. Uh, I've had a few people asking about anchoring it to a uh, concrete patio, so I was gonna show you what I decided to do. You might go and do something different. Uh, what I went ahead and bought was 14, let's see, or 16 rather, 16 wedge anchors. These are two and a half inches long, three uh, bolt, but, um, two and a half inches long. And I, I could have gone with something longer, but this has 16 points of contact. Uh, and so I figured with that many that two and a half inches would be fine. And so basically what uh, I went ahead and did was took my DeWalt drill, got a three eighths uh, concrete or masonry bit. Uh, I didn't have to use my uh, hammer drill for this. I was able just to use my regular drill. You might need a hammer drill. I have one, I just didn't use it. This was gonna be fine for me. So I did that drilled all of the holes, right? And another thing you might wanna do is actually remove the wood trim piece. It's kinda of dirty right now. Uh, but actually remove that. That gives you more area to work with when you're drilling into the concrete or aggregate, whatever you're putting it on. Um, keeps kinda of the spinning part of your drill from hitting that. And also, once you've drilled the holes, when you're putting this, uh, this anchor in, you actually have to use a hammer to pound it in, right? And so when you're swinging that hammer, you don't want to hit this soft wood and gouge it up, everything else. So I just took them off all the way around, uh, went ahead, drilled the holes, uh, put a piece of tape on my drill so I knew kind of roughly how deep I wanted to go. You want your hole a little deeper than your actual anchor, uh, but I didn't want to do extra work, right? So I just wanted to know roughly where I needed to stop, did that. Um, and then uh, the other thing you're gonna want is some kind of air. You could even probably use canned, you know, like for your computer, canned air. But I went ahead and used this so I could blow all the concrete uh, powder and residue out of the holes after I drilled them so they're completely clean. Uh, and then pounded the anchor in. And uh, then after that, you just put the washer on, put the screw on, pretty simple stuff. And then uh, use a wrench to tighten those up causes that that flange in there to open inside and uh, you know just kind of anchors it into the concrete so that's what I did all the way around uh, and then what I'm actually gonna do you can see I painted my uh, my uh, washer black that was really just to get the edge what I'm gonna do after they're all installed is I'm gonna make a simple template out of cardboard that guards everything except a hole and I'm just gonna hit them with black uh, and then eventually when I find some black nuts and, and washers I'll, I'll just put those on but you know for now I figured eh, it, it, I already have the paint why not do it that way just because I wanted it to match the the system instead of silver at the bottom when I get some I don't know, oxidized black ones or something it'll be better um, but uh, in the meantime I figured eh, I'll just do that for now why not so that was one thing the other thing that I was gonna mention really quick totally unrelated anchoring this but I don't know if you all might run into this problem. Uh, when I put this together, there was only one part in the directions that were terrible to me. And this was with the ridge clips. Um, so it's gonna be on page 40, also page 36. The ridge clips are this part right here. And the question with those ridge clips was the relationship between weather stripping, which they have it in this part of the diagram here, and how that weather stripping kind of goes into the ridge clip and how the ridge clip goes on. So here, here's, I'm gonna show you on the actual gazebo, and then I'm gonna kind of show you a sketch I did. So here's, I don't know if I can get this to, go as well as I'd hoped but this is going to be your ridge clip area and so kind of underneath this component right here there's a piece it's going to go straight up and then it kind of has this kind of like a sh weird shape to it it kind of goes like that 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 and then straight down that you you screw to the panel on the inside and then that causes there to be like a lip that eventually this piece here slides over the top of that lip, right? So you're doing it to where there's a lip this way and it goes up and a lip that way and it slides over the top. You put weather stripping on the inside of those lips and that's what this diagram is all about right here. This part here, if I can get to zoom, that part there, which it relates to this ridge clip up here. I tried to sketch this out. This is as rough as I could do it. But when you're looking at the side of the ridge clip, this this diagram over here just wasn't helpful for me. Uh, but over here, I think maybe this is a little bit more helpful. So you're gonna see that ridge clip, and it's gonna go straight, and then it's gonna have kind of this weird, you know, multiple edged angle to it. You wanna put that weather stripping, the sticky part, on the absolute straight flat part, right? 
just at the top of that before it starts to arc over that way. If you were looking at it straight on, right, here's the ridge clip's gonna be flat, and then it makes that weird arch. You just put the sticky side against that flat, sticks to that side of it, and then it runs all the length of that, that ridge clip housing. So I don't know if that's helpful or not helpful. I hope it's more than not. That was the only part where I was kind of looking at it for the longest time going, what are they trying to tell me in that diagram? Um, that's what it is, and then that weather stripping sits on the um, corrugated metal roof when you stick it to the side with five screws, uh, which is what this part of the diagram is trying to show you there. So this is just an afterthought. I really was just doing this to show you, uh, you know, what it would look like when you put the anchors in, which there's more of a finish side there, kind of all the way around where I was able to put it. But. In hindsight, I thought, you know, those ridge clips were kind of a pain, and I should throw that in there too. Anyway, so kind of all the way around, put them in, just kind of wrapping up this last part now. But uh, hopefully that helps you guys when you're putting your anchor points in. Um, this has been pretty quick for me. It's probably taken me about 20 minutes, I guess, or something like that total. So real quick project, honestly. Um, if you're going into solid concrete, you're probably going to want a, a hammer drill for sure. Uh, like I said, I was going into aggregate a little easier to work with, but uh, we'll see what you're dealing with. So hopefully that helps. Have a good time with your project. I'm out.